I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand a very important application of compound angles. Question here is, express the left side of the equation cos theta plus sin theta equals to minus 1 as a single trigonometric function. Then solve the equation for theta between 0 to 2 pi. Now before beginning to solve this, let me tell you in general that what we are referring to is normally called a wave function or sometimes we also refer to it as a simple harmonic motion equation. So in general if I have equation as a cos of theta plus b sine theta in that case we can write this equation as r times cos of theta minus alpha where r is equals to positive value of a square plus b square square root and theta could be found as using tan theta we can find theta as tan theta as minus b by a. So this is the equation which we are referring to in this particular video we'll kind of derive it also and we'll do a couple of videos so that you get used to this equation this is extremely important. Now the question here is express the left side of the equation sin theta plus cos theta equals to minus 1 as a single trigonometric function then solve the equation this domain. Now the equation for us is cos theta plus sin theta equals to minus 1. Now this equation looks extremely simple to work with right but if you sit down solving this equation it may be a very difficult question. So this wave function actually becomes handy for us and the statement here actually tells you the steps of solving this equation. So once again express the left side of the equation we mean left side means this particular side as a single trigonometric function then solve the equation in this domain right. So first we will only consider cos theta plus sin theta and write it as a single trigonometric function in our case that is going to be r cos of theta minus alpha okay so with this introduction let's begin to solve this equation so what we will do here is we will say uh, we'll use the compound angle formula okay so we can treat this as one times cos theta plus one times sine theta so we are beginning with the left side and we will write this as r times cos of theta minus alpha right so I'll expand the right side which is r times let me use square brackets cos a cos b that is cos theta cos alpha plus sin a sin b sin theta sin alpha so I have used the compound angle formula to expand this right so compound angle formula is cos a minus b will be cos a cos b plus sin a sin b now okay if you compare these two let me expand it further and let me write this as r times cos alpha cos theta plus r times sin alpha sin theta. Now if you see and compare left side with the right side you will say that r cos alpha is equals to 1 r sin alpha is also equals to 1 in this particular case right. So we took a very simple equation it could have any coefficients right in, the, in our case to begin with we just took 1 and 1. So from here we get two equations first is r of cos alpha equals to 1 the other one is r of sin alpha is equal to 1 right now if I divide these two equations then let me write sin first right if I divide these equations then r gets cancelled so what I'm trying to do now is I'm calling this as equation okay let me say equation 2 and this as equation 1 okay so when I divide that means if I write r sin alpha over r cos 
alpha I get 1 over 1 which is 1 and this is in fact equals to tan alpha right R and R cancel so we get alpha as tan inverse of 1 correct so from here we get alpha as tan inverse of 1 tan inverse of 1 and that is we can take alpha as pi by 4 right so in first quadrant we know alpha will be pi by 4 so we get alpha as equals to pi by 4 so that is one solution for alpha so we'll take the first quadrant one in this particular case the other equation we what we can do here with these two is we can add their squares so if I add the squares what do I get I get r square cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha so if I square this I get r square cos square alpha equals to 1 r square sine square alpha equals to 1 so when I add them I get all this equals to 2 correct now in this particular case taking r square common we get cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equals to 2 cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is as you know 1 so we get r square equals to 2 or r is equals to square root of 2 you get the idea right so what we got here is that we can write sine theta plus cos theta as r of cos of theta minus alpha where now so now let me write it down here so we are using the value of r as square root of 2 and alpha as pi by 4 right so we can now write cos theta plus sine theta as equals to r times r is square root of 2 times cos of theta minus pi by 4 you get the idea so our left side is what we have just proven so so we have written this as a single trigonometric ratio right so that is what we did so we wrote the left side of this equation as a single trigonometric function right now the equation given to us is cos theta plus sine theta equals to minus 1 so instead of cos theta plus sine theta we can write square root 2 cos theta minus pi by 4 right so and then we can solve the equation so let's solve it on this side so we can now write square root 2 within square brackets is better cos of theta minus pi by 4 is equals to minus 1 or cos of theta minus pi by 4 is equals to minus 1 over square root 2 so that is how we can actually solve this equation now when is cos negative cos is negative in quadrants 2 and 3 right we are looking for a value of 1 over square root 2 which is the case for pi by 4 so when we have angle acute angle of pi by 4 in that case we know cos of pi by 4 is equals to 1 over square root 2 so the acute angle is pi by 4 therefore we have two solutions here for theta minus pi by 4 one of these solutions will be pi minus pi by 4 which is 3 pi by 4 and the other one is pi plus pi by 4 which is 5 pi by 4 correct so we get two solutions here we can write theta minus pi by 4 is equal to so we have two solution one is 3 pi by 4 and the other one is 5 pi by 4 correct so from here we can add pi by 4 to these solutions and get what theta is equals to right so theta is equals to so the two solutions will be 3 pi by 4 plus pi by 4 right which is indeed 
4 pi by 4 or pi and the other one is 5 pi by 4 plus pi by 4 which is equal to 5 plus 1 6 6 pi by 4 or 3 pi by 2 is it okay so these are the two different solutions for which this equation is true so now we can write down our answer that theta is equals to pi or 3 pi by 2 correct so that is how we can solve our equation I hope you understand the concept so at times when we take uh, more complicated equations you can straight away use these formulas and get your answer It'll be kind of simpler to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.